big beautiful world so I was looking through uh, my countdowns on my phone the other day and I felt like I should you know do a whole uh, update on all the um, countdowns I have on my phone that I haven't updated you guys on in a while so um, so what I'm not gonna go through every single one of them because there are some that are a little bit more personal than others so I'm gonna keep it you know to ones that are related to my birthday, to VidCon, to uh, my 15th year uh, since I graduated high school, um, uh, social media related uh, countdowns, things like that. Um, other than that, you know, there's not a whole lot that's new. Uh, so it's 56 days from today, I'll be 34 years old. Um, in 99 days, I'll, it'll be my 15th year since I graduated high school. In 122, actually, by the time this vlog goes up, it'll be, it'll be, 121 days until VidCon, uh, 2023. Uh, it'll, it's 171 days until year 10 on Instagram. 358 days until uh, year 12 on YouTube. 422 days until my 35th birthday. 858 days until Dear Future Me update for in 2025. Um, 1,454 days until you're 15 on YouTube. Uh, 10 years, uh, 1,667 days until, actually it's going to be less than that now. And same thing with the year f uh, 15 on YouTube. And same thing with Dear Future Me. It's actually going to be 857. Um, for Dear Future Me, and it's going to be 1,453 until you're 15, and it's going to be 1,666 days until 10 years of consecutive daily vlogging. It is going to be, it is 1,926 days until 20 years since I graduated high school. It is 2,248 days until my 40th birthday. It's 3,015 days until my 20, year on, 20 years on Facebook. Um, it is 3,280 days until year 20, oh, excuse me, 3,279 days until year 20 on YouTube, and 19,716 days until year 65 in my final year on YouTube. So those are... Those are the countdowns that I'm really counting down to. Now, there are other ones that I could have said in there, like uh, my 2,000th day of consecutive daily vlogging is like 20-something days away now. I'd have to go and uh, check. What did I say? It's, it is, it's going to be 15 days away. Actually, it's less than uh, 20 days now. It's, it's 15 days until, so when is that? Today's the 19th, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So March 6th is when it'll be 2,000 days of consecutive daily volume. Um, and that's just a bunch of stuff that's happening um, in the world of of countdowns for me. That's not the only thing that's happening though. You know, a week from tomorrow, I mean from uh, Tuesday, it is the final day of the month. So, so Tuesday is the 21st, the 28th is on a Tuesday, the first day of March is on a Wednesday. So that means there's only what, nine days left of the month? That's, and that's it. There's only 28 days in February, and then March happens. Um, we've got 31 days in March. We got International Women's Day. We've got Labor Day in Australia and Wales. We got Daylight Savings Time coming up. We've got uh, Spring Begins on the 20th of March. So I mean, just a lot of things are going to be happening. Like countdowns are going to be happening, um, a lot of things in you know on online are going to be happening. Um, 
I might be going to see Ant-Man again on either Monday or Tuesday, depending on what my brothers say. And then I was I was a little okay. Let's talk about this. I was there were some matches last night at the Elimination Chamber that were actually pretty good. The you know, and then there was other matches that just fell flat. Um, because I was, I, I'm not, I'm going to say this because I believe that he would win. I was really rooting for Sami Zayn to dethrone, dethrone, uh, Roman Reigns. But now that this chamber, the Elimination Chamber match is over, there's six weeks until, until the WrestleMania night one and two. And I'm really, really praying whoever, whoever's, well, I do know that the championship, one of the, cha actually three championship matches I'm really looking forward to. It's going to be Asuka versus, um, versus Bianca Belair for the Raw Women's Championship. That could either go either way because they are both talented women and they both deserve that shot. I mean, the champion, she's going to try to retain, but Asuka is a dangerous woman in the WWE right now. And on the other side, on the SmackDown Women's Championship match, it's going to be Charlotte Flair versus Rhea Ripley. Now, that's going to be a match that everyone's going to be watching as well. Charlotte Flair has is a 14-time uh, women's champion in her career. So... She can easily retain this title. But don't take anything away from Rhea Ripley. She's an amazing competitor as well. And so it's good. Those two women's title matches are going to be very close to watch. The other match that I'm looking forward to, hopefully, I'm not saying it's going to happen, but hopefully Cody Rhodes can finally, someone can finally beat Roman Reigns and take the titles off of him. Because right now it's just it, it's it's getting sad, it's getting sickening to see you know time and time and time again no one can defeat him. But I think Cody Rhodes has the biggest chance. Now don't get me wrong, Sami Zayn took Roman Reigns to the limits that no one else could have taken him in the past you know three years that he's been champion and. I believe that Cody Rhodes can take it even one step further and actually knock him off his pedestal. Um, I don't know what other matches there are going to be at WrestleMania this year. They're kind of building up a match between um, Seth Rollins and Logan Paul. Uh, um, they were kind of building up a Bray Wyatt versus, the, versus either Brock Lesnar or Bobby Lashley. Um, I'm really, I was really excited by that match, actually. Now that we're talking about it, that match between Bobby Lashley and Brock Lesnar, without the, you know, the low blow, um, that was an epic match. I mean, you got, you saw Spears, you saw F5s, you saw, um, one hurt lock and one hurt lock attempt. Um, I mean, you had it all. And even... Even Michael Cole said something that there might be another match between the two and it'd be an I quit match at WrestleMania. That's what they were they were saying at commentary and other places as well, that it could be an I quit match at WrestleMania. Now, who knows what other matches are going to be in the cards. They'll start probably building up matches from now until WrestleMania on April 1st and April 2nd. Um, but... I'm for certain there's three championship matches. There could be a fourth. There could be a fifth. We'll just have to wait and see. Because, you know, there's no United States championship match that's going to be happening as of right now. And there's no intercontinental championship match that's happening as of now. And the tag team titles might be on the line. They were kind of building up like it could be Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens versus the Usos for the tag titles. So... Maybe that will happen at WrestleMania, and we'll just have to wait and see what uh, matches are going to be on the card in a couple months from now. So with that being said, we got a couple birthdays to wish, so let's, get it, let's just dive into that. 
I'm going to wish Claudia Sulinski and Hannah Witten, who, those two are birthdays on YouTube. And I would also like to wish Millie Bobby Brown a happy birthday, uh, Victoria Justice a happy 30th birthday, uh, Caitlin Charters a happy 30th birthday, and Jade Kata Preda a happy birthday today as well. Now we've got two birthdays tomorrow, and then on, those are going to be on Instagram. And then we've got a couple birthdays, or one birthday on YouTube on the 21st, and a couple on Instagram, and then we'll talk more about all the other birthdays. So stay happy, stay upbeat, do what you want to do with your life, and be, just be you, and don't let anyone else tell you what to do. Um, uh, find your love story. And count down to whatever the heck you want to count down to. Whether it's your birthday, whether it's a, a convention that you want to go to, whether it's um, your high school reunion, or not high school reunion, but how many years you've graduated since high school, you know, how many years you've been on YouTube, all of those things. Just count down to whatever the heck you want to. And I will see you tomorrow with a brand new vlog. And bye bye